What happens when you put a good, strong Christian in the NFL? Today, I'll be telling you about Tim Tebow. There are three main points about him that I'll be sharing. I'll start by telling you about his backgrounds. Then, I'll be telling you about his role as a football player. And I'll finish by telling you about his role as a Christian. I'll begin by telling you about his backgrounds. Tebow was born in the Philippines in 1987. It was an extremely difficult pregnancy. As Tim Tebow says in his book, Through My Eyes, from the start, it was a difficult pregnancy with a great deal of pain and bleeding. A number of times they were certain that they had lost me. With the fear of losing their child and the stress of doctors telling them to abort him, Tim Tebow's parents stayed strong in faith and prayed. They never considered the idea of abortion, and miraculously, Tim Tebow was born a healthy baby. Tim lived in the Philippines until he was three, and he moved back to America with his family in 1990. There, he was homeschooled as a child. Although he was homeschooled, he was extremely athletic and played sports with the local schools. Now, I'll be telling you about Tim Tebow's role as a football player. Tebow played quarterback at the University of Florida from 2006 to 2009. He earned a starting position in 2007 and kept it until he graduated. At Florida, Tebow won a national championship in the years 2006 and 2008. As stated by Tim Highland, author of Tim Tebow, One of the Greatest, against Oklahoma in the 2008 BCS National Championship game, Tebow threw for 231 yards and two touchdowns. He added 109 rushing yards to lead the Gators to a 24-14 win. Tim Tebow also won the Heisman Trophy in the year 2007. This made him the first college sophomore to ever accomplish this great feat. Finally, Tebow was drafted to the Denver Broncos in the year 2010. Although Tebow enjoyed much success in, in college football, Tebow struggled in the NFL. He, his th throwing form discouraged many, many NFL teams from drafting him, and it kept him from ever being extremely successful. One of his greatest accomplishments in the NFL was in the year 2011, he took the Broncos to a deep playoff run, but ended up coming up short. Lastly, I'll be telling you about Tebow's role as a Christian. Tebow accepted Christ into his life at the age of six. To this day, he says that this was the most important decision he has ever made. Tebow began taking mission trips at the age of 15. He took his first mission trip to the Philippines. This was an extremely important trip to him because this was his first time back to the Philippines since he was three years old. Ever since then, he has taken mission trips to the Philippines each year. The Tebos have now set up an orphanage in the Philippines where they are taking in children without parents. Finally, Tebow began the trend of Teboing. This is an act of kneeling down and praying. He began this trend when he was in college. Every time he would score a touchdown, he would kneel down and thank God for the success. Ever since then, it has grown, and many, many people across the U.S. are doing it. In conclusion, I just told you three different things about Tim Tebow. First, I told you about his background and his childhood, and about the struggles he faced when he was young. Second, I told you about his role as a football player, his success, and his failures. I finished by telling you his role as a Christian. The most important things that he, the, the things that he finds most important. When you put a good, strong Christian in the NFL, you get results like Tim Tebow. I had the privilege of meeting Tim Tebow once, and I can testify that his faith is in fact real.